Hi there, Samuel back again, Emmy Pot Garden. Okay, this is about a week and a half since my last video and I've just been on holiday for a week down south, thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm back to see how my garden's fed um, and I've got to admit it's not done too badly. I shouldn't have really worried much because I've got a water irrigation system in and as you can see it's fed horse pipe a pressure reducer I think they call them something like that and that's fed into a small tube which then splits off and it feeds on there's one of them where it ends to little dripper in there um, so it feeds these four tomato plants and all the plants in the two greenhouses so all in all it feeds about 20 plants or water I should say not feed but I was worried about all the containers outside if we had lovely weather which looks as though we have so what I decided was I've got another hose pipe from the water station which is way over there as you can see I've got two timers and I programmed them to feed one of my two greenhouses and all these pots here are fed by another but this is not a drip well, not in the sense of the other one, because that one, it's one of them permeable soakers that you put on a flower bed. And as you can see, I've got it winding all the way through all my pots. As you can see, it's through my leeks, then my parsnips, then various onions, carrots, Brussels sprouts, all the way to the top, and then it comes all the way back down, and that's what's been keeping my plants and I mean even the ones out there as you can see there you can see the hose pipe there well not hose pipe but porous hose whatever you want to call it and it's done a very good job I mean all the little seedlings are fine all the established plants like the parsnips there have done fine the Brussels sprouts are fine um, so yeah pretty pleased with it one plant that didn't get watered much is my courgette. So it's looking a bit worse for wear, but I've watered it and it's coming back. It's got plenty of new leaves on, and as you can see, it's got a, a fruit there, which uh, shows that it's not totally dead, and there's another one up there on its way. So that's meant a recovery. So, courgettes. Uh, Swiss chard, very colourful, some yellow, red, pinks, looking a bit worse for wear. I think it's been nobbled up by the snails and what have you. So the old leaves are a bit battered, but this is a new one. Now you can see, it's looking good. So I'll put some pellets down, get them back under control. Uh, these plants here, Oh, my sweet, and as you can see, bulking up really well. Um, hard to get a scale on these things, but that's, that's like a tennis ball size. So coming on really nicely. And the same goes for those two in there. As you can see, uh, the bait roots swelling up quite nicely. It's about a golf ball size. So 
Uh, there's that one, and there's this one, and as you can see, that's about the golf ball size as well, and that one. So a couple close to being pulled up. This, well, you can hardly see the different containers. There's a container there, and that one, that's got my Swede, which are doing very well. Uh, good thick stems on them. So they're Swede. Um, the two pots I sowed about two weeks ago. Uh, they're coming through with some turnip, some purple top melons. So they're doing very well. I've thinned them out a bit. Uh, and them over there in the gap there, they're neat thin and out. I'll do them tomorrow. The leeks, well, they're looking really well. Coming along nicely. Getting some decent thick sort of size stems on them. So coming away well. Coming away well. Outdoor tomatoes, as you can see, nice trusses on them. Tomatoes everywhere you look. Some close to ripening, I think. That's me parsnip in that white container. Looking very green and healthy. These are me Elsa Craig onions. Getting that little bit bigger, I think. Doing well. Some carrots I only sowed about a fortnight ago. Doing well. Brussels sprouts. Really taking off, chopping off the bottom leaves as I've seen on YouTube videos. And as you can see, loads of Brussels sprouts, and particularly this one. I've took a few off and tried them, and they are lovely. Absolutely gorgeous with a bit of butter. But as you can see there, loads still more to come, and it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Um, don't know how tall you let them grow, but I've actually on this one I've pinched out or chopped off the growing tip. Um, if I can just focus, yeah, so sort of, if I can get my finger in short, there, the growing tip was there and I've chopped it off. Um, but I've got another two which are there which is getting all right and that one there all right uh, let's see there you go there are my spring onions growing very nicely a month or so i'll probably have some nice spring onions rhubarb loads of good thick stems on them i haven't harvested any this year i've just tried to let it establish itself um some more onions which are still thickening up bulbing up i should say but very healthy and there are my bedfordshire onions which again swelling up quite nicely that one there and that one there that one there and this one here that's my melon which I had planted in that tub with my courgettes, the same type, but the ones in there I think didn't get enough light and they just rotted away. So I put them in pots and basically they're looking really green and healthy. Uh, so I let them grow a bit more and maybe either leave them in these pots or transplant them into that container. I might just leave them in the pots if they're happy there and see if I can grow some melons. But they are me organ melons. Uh, and in that container, looks like spring onion, but actually um, silver skin, Paris silver skin 
uh, onions from pickling. So I'll have some pickled onions. Um, and finally my garlic. Now, last time I videoed them they were standing up pretty well but as you can see now they've all fallen over. So I think these are ready to be pulled up. So, as a first, I'll pull some up. So I'll have a go of this one here. Normally, I've seen on YouTube videos that they say you should only pull them up once the bottom five leaves or whatever go yellow. These haven't gone yellow, but they've just like fallen over. So I'm assuming they're ready to be pulled up. So I'll pull one up and see how it goes. So there you go. So I'll get this one. Looks a decent size. And it's a stubborn thing. There we go. It's slowly coming. Oh, looks promising. Well, shake it off. Well, I've got to say, that looks pretty okay to me. Um, the cloves are about a thumb size. Uh, yeah. Each of these cloves are about a thumb size, so that's good enough for me. Cool, you can really smell the garlic on them. No sign of rot or anything like that. Because again on some YouTube videos I have seen them where they haven't had much success and they've rotted and just generally sort of failed on them. But they look alright to me. So I'll have a go at another. Try this one. Yeah. I need a... Uh, Bear with me. Right, that's it. Right then, so here we go. Really planted in these. Oh, he's there. I can see him. Oh, but he doesn't want to come. Do you, mate? He doesn't want to come. Oh. Right, oh dear me. Right, hee <laughs> just look at that root on that. Absolutely uh, happy fella. I would say with a root system like that, I'll just uh, loosen some of it off. To, so I can. There you go. Oh dear me, look. get a bit of the excess root off soil that's it right well that's another beauty I mean they are just over a thumb size on that so that one is really oh really happy with these so two I mean the second one let's see was even bigger so I'm doing all right with my garlic. Phew. As I say, I've seen some videos and I thought everyone was, wasn't doing very well with the garlic, but that's doing all right. Happy with that. So garlic's a success this year. Going to enjoy that. Go ahead and smell it. Right. Um, I think that's everything out here. Um, just a quick video that uh, there's my sunflower uh, looking very very pretty doing very well on that very happy with that and there's actually another I think it's another flowering head on that so doing very well anyway back to the uh, the veg as you can see 
the peas are doing. Oh, I need to fasten these up. Getting a bit too tall, but coming along great guns, the peas this time. Not so much damage by snails and slugs, so doing really well. Might get some nice peas then. Oh, actually, I didn't see. Some flowers just about to start. So that means, and there's some down there as well. Um, there you go. So some pods soon. Yippee. Can't wait for that. And... As you can see, my sweet corn coming along much better now that they can see the sunlight. So that's that. These are some more tomato plants. Um, again, loads of flowers, loads of tomatoes. And on there, there are my tigerellas, and as you can see, the skin looks like stripey so it'll look very nice when the they've matured so tomatoes uh, that is my early parsnips looking a bit yellow might have to give this a nitrogen feed or something uh the way stuff's growing in in these pots you never know they might almost be ready <laughs> outside oh the beetroot and lettuce that I did a video of transplanting these are them and as you can see uh, some of them well that was the flower the seed leaves and some of them are like one about onto the second set of true leaves some even beyond that so the emmy beetroot that i transplanted a week ago doing very nicely another beetroot yeah little gems as you can see they've been nibbled a little bit by the snails but i'll get a i'll get a lead a control on that so two beetroot, two little gems, and a one of me lola rose, so doing very well. Right, I've had a little accident in my greenhouse. Uh, this is me mom and he looks okay, but then bang, it snapped there. So I don't know what will happen to this marmand. Um, it's got plenty, as you can see, it's got plenty of fruit on it. It's got loads of fruit on it. Um, all the way. All the way to the top. So I don't know what will happen. Just have to wait and see. But yeah, um, as you can see that one got a bit of a lean. They just got so much fruit on these that uh, you know they're getting really heavy. Uh, but yeah, everywhere you look, lovely tomatoes. I've just noticed one there. Uh, there, that one there. I'll zoom in. I think might be a bit of blossom end rot, but it's only on that one tomato. All this hot weather, I'm not surprised. Uh, even with the water irrigation system. All the others, I mean, that, that's the bottom of another one, and there's nothing wrong with that one. So that's just that one. As you can see, 
there's the others on the same truss so it might be a pest on that one but yeah all the other tomatoes are looking really healthy these are the Uldi that's just tomato upon tomato everywhere my beef tomatoes there you go loads of them all of them are getting some size on them so I will we'll see how that progresses and very quickly this was supposed to be a quick video that's my chili plant with some of them like that one zoom in start the ripen from a green to a yellow so my chilies are starting to ripen again tomato upon tomato upon tomato very nice cucumbers as you can say loads of flowers loads of cucumbers to come this plant here it's a thin thing you can't really see much till you get to here uh, this is a tomatillo it's got like a, a spiky leaf like a, a serrated edging I don't know what the pr proper term is but it's got these lovely flowers on the top and they'll be the tomatillos so my tomatillos flowering as you can see cuckoo melon cuckoo melon cuckoo melon Oh, my cuckoo melons starting to form now and finally I'll back up this big thing so this thing here the huge leaves that's my inkerberry plant growing absolutely huge does produce flowers like that one which turn into little oh, there's a one beside it into these little paper like paper pod things and the fruit grows in there um, can't feel anything so it hasn't really grown much can't really detect anything in them as yet when they're ready to fall off finally this is me jalapeno me jalapeno plant as you can see they're doing really well plenty of jalapenos green so plenty of hot curries and that to come okay hope you enjoy that video uh, tried to keep it as short as I could but after a week on holiday there's a lot to tell and a lot to show so I did my best to keep it as short as I could hope you enjoyed it though and if you liked it well leave a like a comment subscribe probably see you in a week's time maybe soon if the tomatoes ripen sooner rather than later so until then, from me pop garden, see you later.